Let me take it from the top. Hello. I'm the doctor. This is a pretty special video, folks, because over the weekend, me, along with my girlfriend Evangeline and her brother Alex, attended Preston Comic Con 2024, and there we met Joe Martin, who plays the Fugitive Doctor in Doctor Who. This was such a brilliant experience. Meeting Joe was just so thrilling. She is an amazing person in real life. If you're watching this, Joe, just want to say hi again. It was just so amazing meeting you. I can't quite believe uh, that I got to meet you. Uh, you are my personal second doctor. My first doctor uh, was uh, Sylvester McCoy. And I met him at a previous Preston Comic Con many, many years ago. Eagle-eyed viewers may remember that. Other eagle-eyed viewers may have spotted that I have included the Fugitive Doctor throughout some previous videos of mine. And the reason for that was because I knew that I was going to be meeting Joe. And honestly, she really didn't disappoint. She's just such a down-to-worth person. She gave us a lot of time. She talked to us uh, for quite a reasonable length, the three of us. It was just so fascinating hearing from her in the Q&A that she did. Uh, later on in the day, which we were really happy about. Uh, my girlfriend even got to ask one of the questions in the Q&A, which was uh, really fun. It was just really, really good meeting Joe, and I'm just so happy. We even got a few selfies with Joe Martin uh, that you'll see on the screen now, taken very kindly by her lovely husband, who also was in attendance. One of the coolest things about it was um, we got talking about her time on the TV series as well as other TV works that she's done and uh, some of which is about to be released like she's got a film coming out with uh, Mike Lee as the director. I mentioned to her because I'm such a big nerd as I'm pretty sure some of you will know by now I mentioned to her about um, the upcoming uh, Big Finish audio dramas that she is about to appear in. She wouldn't give too much away because of spoilers, which um, is really exciting. But one thing I did mention to her, or what we did mention to her, was um, how the teaser for her first ever Big Finish release was coming out um, last week. And it got released on like social media, but she didn't see it. So I actually got to tell her that um, the first teaser for her first ever Big Finish uh, got released and she wasn't aware of this. So uh, later on, I tweeted and then she liked the tweet and now she follows me on Twitter. So that's the thing. It was just so cool to uh, not only meet Joe Martin, but now she follows me, the obsessed Uvian on Twitter. Um, it's still not quite sunk in that uh, one of the doctors is following me on uh, social media, but um, there we go. It'd be great to get some more in the future, wouldn't it? Um... <laughs> oh God, it's it's so surreal. It's really surreal. And honestly, Joe Martin, if if you are watching this, I know you're really busy with a lot of things. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being amazing, so accommodating. And uh, also, just want to say thank you very much for this amazing autograph as well. Um, if you just put uh, to James and Evangeline, there's a signature, uh, which is really cool. So that's my experience of meeting the wonderful Joe Martin at Preston Comic Con. And you never know. I could meet her again one day. I hope that I meet you again one day, Joe Martin, because honestly, he was really brilliant and I could talk to you all day. I'm now going to hand you over for a special guest appearance by my wonderful girlfriend, Evangeline, who will recount her experience at Preston Comic Con 2024. James, over and out.
Hello there, Whovians. It is I, Evangeline. And as you probably know by now, I'm here to talk to you about meeting Joe Martin at Preston Comic Con 2024. So, first thing I would like to say is that she was just an absolute joy to meet. She was really down to earth, she was really kind, and honestly just really, really fun to talk to. Um, it was really quite a wholesome experience overall, and it was especially special to me, because I may have gotten a little tiny bit starstruck. And the reason for that, bit cringe, sorry Jill, but the reason for that would be because she is my very, very first doctor that I've ever gotten to meet. And this absolutely meant the world to me. <laughs> um, it was just really special, really wonderful and really, really cool. Um, me and James are planning to try and meet as many actors from Doctor Who as possible. We would love to meet more doctors. We would love to meet some companions and we would really, really, really like to meet some masters. That would be fantastic. So the next thing I'd like to talk about was her Q&A. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, she was really fun and really funny and it was just lovely, absolutely lovely hearing some of her cool stories. And I even got to ask a question, which is really, really cool, but also kind of a bit scary. Um, she just has a lovely, beautiful personality. She's beautiful inside and out. And I'm just absolutely overjoyed. So glad to have gotten to meet her. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about at the con, I managed to get this really, really lovely uh, TARDIS pin. It's so cool, really vibrant, really shiny, and pairs beautifully with my ever-growing Doctor Who pin collection. We have here a unit and we also have Vote Saxon. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying collecting these. I would love to get some more and if I do, maybe James will let me show them off sometime. Anyway, so that was really awesome. There were some really, really cool things at the con, loads of really nerdy things loads of different franchises and uh i'm sure james will be showing off the things that he got there too so anyway i think that's probably enough from me for now but remember to like comment subscribe and joe if you are watching this by any chance thank you so so much for absolutely making my day that day you were the best thing about the day you absolutely just made it such a perfect beautiful day thank you so so much and thank you for being my first doctor oh, i'll never forget it it means so much to me we love you keep being awesome keep doing what you do thank you so much and that's all for now bye 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 bye, -bye. thank you to the lovely evangeline for that wonderful bit there. Before we go, I'm going to show off some of the items that I managed to pick up at the Preston Comic Con 2024. There was quite a lot of stalls, as I'm sure you're aware. There was a lot of pins that were there. There was a lot of Ghostbusters merchandise there. Like, they really like the Ghostbusters, some of these people. I've never really been a big fan of it. Controversial, I know. Um, but I did manage to pick up a few items. Could you guess what it could be all about? Well, yeah, no surprises. It's all Doctor Who merchandise. I managed to get some figures that I don't have, including this thing, which I've been trying to track down for goodness knows how long. This is the History of the Dalek Set 3. This came out around 2020, pandemic year, and it's just one of those I was just never able to find. Eventually ended up online on places like ebay and amazon and it went for ridiculous prices like honestly the prices for this thing was just it, it was a joke really uh, i managed to get this for 40 pounds which is a little bit more expensive than what it would have been back in the day when this first came out but you know 40 quid compared to some of the other prices that i've seen online i think 
it's worth it. It includes a guard Dalek, which I have wanted for years. So finally, I have that guy as part of the collection and also have a silver and blue Dalek because I can't get enough of those guys. Um, we've got this fella here. What? It's Chip, you know, from, from New Earth. Everybody likes New Earth. And last but not least, I got a frame. But I also got this with it too. I got this cool homage to Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon with the TARDIS. Look at that. And a shout out goes to all of the artists that made it to the event as well. Because uh, there was some great stuff there. And then everyone at Preston Comic Con, they were so accommodating. Everything about it was such a great day. But of course, the big highlight was meeting Joe Martin. That is all that I've got to say for this video. If you like this video, then give this a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then feel free to subscribe. And uh, also, give me a follow on Twitter. You can uh, join Joe Martin as one of my new followers. And now I'm going to end this with a little photo montage of our day at Preston Comic Con 2024. <laughs>